So we have this problem involving the use of snail's law. At what minimum incident angle would sound need to strike water from air to reflect completely? And we are given the speed of sound in the air is 344 meters per second and the speed of sound in water is 1500 meters per second. So snail's law is sine of the incident angle divided by sine of the refracted angle equals to the velocity in the first medium divided by the velocity in the second medium and lambda 1 is the wavelength in the first medium divided by the wavelength in the second medium. To explain to you guys what incident and refracted angles are, I will draw up a diagram to visually show you guys what it looks like. So say you have some sound and it's traveling in this direction but then it hits a uh, different medium so say this was air and this side is water the sound wave may start traveling like this however the original path of the sound would have been this and also say this was the surface separating the air and the water the normal to the surface would be this. So this is the incident angle and this is the refracted angle. So in this example we are asked what angle this sound needs to come in for it to be reflected completely. So what this means is that r equals 90 degrees because if this was our sound wave to be reflected completely it would go up here form a 90 degree to the normal. So since the sound is coming from the air, V1 is the speed of the sound in the air, it's 344. And since the sound hits the water after coming from the air, V2 is the speed of sound in the water, so 1500 meters per second. So if we use Snell's law, we can forget about wavelengths in this question by the way. We have sine of i equals to v1 sine r divided by v2. So this would be 344 sine 90 degrees divided by 1500. And this comes out to be 0.0. .0 Two two nine. So if you take the inverse of sine, this would give you our incident angle, a um, minimum incident angle, which is what the question is asking for, and it comes up to thirteen point three degrees.